Hello everyone, and welcome to a video on arithmetic sequences. Now you've already watched a video on intro to arithmetic sequences, and we're going to kind of do an example here together. Now when you look at what I've given you here, I've given you an arithmetic sequence, and you know by the way that this is written, that this is a recursive rule. Recursive rule, remember from the last video, it gives you the first term, it tells you the rule that you're going to be using, and from there you can generate the sequence. Now a recursive rule, remember, is only based on terms that come before the ones that you want. So here we go, we've got a sequence here, it starts at the number 14, so a sub 1 is 14. The rule is to add 3 as you move along the sequence. You can see that from here. So this rule says, take the term that comes before the one you want, that's a sub i minus 1, take the term that comes before the one you want, and add 3 to it. So if I want a sub 2, I'm going to take a sub 1 and add 3, and I'll get 17. If I want a sub 3, then I'll take a sub 2, add 3 to it, and that gives me 20. 23, 26, and so on. Let's say I asked you to find a sub 30. You would say to me, Miss Adams, that's crazy. I can't go all the way out to the 30th term. That will take me such a long time. So my response to you is going to be, well, maybe we can find an easier way to do this. Why don't we write the explicit rule for this sequence? A sub i equals. Now you know this from the last video. You start with the first term. You add the common difference times i minus 1. Remember that i tells you the term number. This is so much easier because now I have the explicit rule, so all I have to do is say, okay, a sub 30 is going to equal 14 plus 3 times 30 minus 1. That means all I have to do is take 14 and add 3 29 times. 3 times 29 is 87, so 14 plus 87. That means that a sub 30 is 101. Okay guys, so anytime you're given a recursive rule and you're asked for a value way later in the sequence, you can just find the explicit rule and then just replace. Okay, good luck everyone.